Hey y'all, it's me, Andrea, with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas. Happy New Year, everyone. And I, over the holiday, ordered a really cool pot from Mellowist on Instagram. Really great account, great plants, great pot. They have a shop. And uh, I, I got the pot and I was like, what am I gonna put in it? This is a special pot. And I really, really like this Senecio Fulgens. Um, I received it as a cutting back in November of 2018 and it actually flowered um, the following February. But um, I had a problem with mealybugs on this guy and it just got so frustrating that I just chopped the top completely off. I totally topped it, deadhead, no leaves, nothing. And I was really surprised to see that it, it formed a caudex. So taking all of that... Um, basically forcing the energy into the only thing that's left growing on the plant, which is the stem, I believe caused it to develop this awesome caudex, and it branched out. Now I have a two-head Senecio fulgens, and this is the pot that I'm putting it in. Super cute. And I already have a screen in the bottom with some drainage materials, and it's a really good fit, I think. I'm just going to kind of twist it, I'm working with one hand here, just twist it around, center it, and help get those roots down in there. Done this before, obviously, and uh, get some soil in there, make sure it's nice and stable before I lift the plant up to expose more of the caudex, like that. And, uh, you know, you saw me removing some of the little dried up dead roots to give it a cleaner look at the base. And then I'm gonna use some top dressing. Gonna give it a nice finish. And smooth that around. Pack it down in there a little bit more, but the plant seems to be standing up just fine on its own, so uh, that's good. Thank you. And then we can lift it up so you can see that caudex a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I just, super surprised how how this developed and I was worried it wasn't even going to continue to grow after I topped it but hey isn't that amazing what a cool plant and a really really sweet pot I've been wanting a pot from Mellowis for a long time Ta -da! not too shabby for a cutting and it flowered as I mentioned um, they flowered in February and they're absolutely gorgeous. The super rowdy red, coral red, and yeah, it put on quite a show for a while. It took a while for it to fully open, and I believe it was like two weeks. And when the bud started to open, until all of the flowers were open, and uh, yeah, you can see in this macro shot just a whole bunch of little tiny flowers, like a living bouquet so cool all right well that's it for now and thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already a lot of you guys that are watching um aren't subscribed and that's totally cool maybe you didn't even realize it but just in case maybe double check now and then of course thanks to everyone who has read my book the succulent manual a guide to care and repair for all climates it's available on Amazon as a paperback and in an ebook, and you can also read it at my website or download the ebook ebook at the website, which is sucksforyou.com. And uh, thank you so much, and again, have a lovely new year, and see you again soon.